Okay guys, this is gonna be an uncut vlog. Crazy story just happened. I pulled over here to start the camera. I didn't have the camera on when this was happening, but my I went I just went to go fill up gas at Quick Trip and the pump thing exploded. Not like fire exploded, but like gas leak exploded all over me. The handle, right as I started to pump, I thought it was funny that right as I scanned my credit card, all of a sudden it put up 50 cents and then stopped. And I hadn't even like started pumping it. I was like, that's weird. But I went ahead and kept pumping. I, I squeezed the thing and the handle popped off and the hose came loose and was all snaky spraying gas all over everything. My bike got covered in gas. I got covered in gas. I still am soaking nasty gas smell. Like I got on my nice leather jacket today, of course. Like my expensive leather jacket, not my... So I'm kind of mad about that. It's all over my leather jacket, all over my overpants, my Kevlar jeans that I just bought, brand new Kevlar jeans. Those are soaked, some starts of killers. And of course it's all over my boots, my gloves, my hoodie that I had on underneath my leather jacket. That got, that got it too. Like I just reek of gas right now. So I have to go home and soak my clothes. I think I'm just gonna throw the overpants away there. I've had them now for a few years and they've got some holes worn through in them and stuff. And so I don't think I'll, I'll just, they're not worth salvaging. They're already pretty nasty. I'm afraid if I wash them, they'll just fall apart. And I've been meaning to get new overpants. So I guess that's a good excuse, hey? Spilling, I mean, they're soaked so bad it went through them to my Kevlar jeans. And those are now also soaked. And yeah, it dried on the leather jacket pretty fast, but now it just smells like gas on the leather. I'm gonna have to get some leather cleaner. I didn't, I don't have any handy. And the bike was, I was like afraid to start. I mean, I just drenched it in gas. The bike was like, it was all over the seat, all over the tank, all over the engine, sprayed all over the controls, everything. So I'm mad and I don't, I, I have one video where I get really mad. Um, it's actually my most popular video. These guys had been trolling me, following me, and, uh, or they'd been messing with me a few other times in traffic. And then this one time at a light with them, they were, they all turned around and looked at me and didn't go. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they were just trolling me and I gave into it and got really mad. It's like a 40 second video and I ended up flipping them off. It's ridiculous. I don't, I, that's not my normal mode of operation at all. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know, that's not normal. Other times I've been accused of being angry because people see that one video where I do get angry and they assume the other times where I'm asking somebody like what are you doing like what's wrong with you they think i'm like really mad at them and i'm not i'm like incredulous or whatever but i'm really not angry uh i just don't i don't and even if i do get angry i keep it to myself i don't I'm not very i'm not really one for expressing it's a nice car I'm not really one for expressing my anger so Normally if I get really angry, I get really quiet, like really quiet. If I'm actually angry about something, I don't vocalize it. I'm waiting till there's a ridiculous gap. But yeah, if I ever get really quiet, like ask my friends, people that really know me, when I'm really upset about something, I stop talking. I just get really quiet. <laughs> so I don't, I just don't like to express my anger. And uh, this, I was so mad at this because I was just thinking about all the money I have in this gear and this bike. And because this pump failed, like it got, it just got, it just ruined my day. And I was already not having the greatest day. And that was like a last straw thing. So I'm normally the customer who, even if I'm really angry, I don't, I don't tell them. I just be like, hey, this is what happened. And I'd kind of like you to do this about it. You know, so I take the handle that had broken off and I, I go inside and he's like, can I help you? And I was like, yeah, I'd like to speak to the manager. And he's like, I'm the manager. And uh, I was like, I'd like to do something about this. And I like threw it down on the counter, like not threw it, but I like set it down, not exactly gently, you know? And uh, he, gas yeah, starts pouring out of it still. There were, there were still some left in the handle and it got on the counter and he just wiped it up. He's totally calm about it. And I was like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I'm just really upset. That just sprayed all over my bike and all over me. And he's like, no, that's, you have a right to be upset. I am so sorry. It looks like this piece just failed here. Um, 
what you know what do you need how can i help what can i do for you and i was like well it's still charging my card out there we did the uh, you know the shut off but still so he's like well we'll uh re you know refund you that and you know you know go ahead and get to another pump we'll take care of you and then anything you want in the store um and then he went and got me a, a bucket of hot water so i could wash my bike off before i started it because i really didn't want to start it with it covered in gasoline just in case you know i mean engines get hot and it could be bad you know <laughs> it was soaked in gasoline didn't really want to start my bike on fire so he he goes and gets me a hot thing of water and like a bunch of towels like nice like towels not just like paper towels but like actual towels to wipe everything off with and um gave me 10 bucks so you know refunded me the gas and then you know he gave me 10 bucks and um bought me a you know comped me from the store um a six pack of newcastle so like literally bought me a beer for my troubles so uh, we got that was awesome i cannot thank them enough that they didn't have to they could have been like sorry man the pump's just you know it says right there that we're not you know this customer's responsible for the spills and whatnot and i don't know how i could be responsible for a spill that wasn't a spill that was a failure of the you know that wasn't like i wasn't paying attention and poured it on the ground it was like it actually came undone from the hose it's sprayed all over the ground and all over me and all over this huge puddle there so i want to go back real quick before it gets dark although it's getting dark fast i know and the drift camera doesn't show very well at night but i wanted to hurry back over there and show you so you don't think i'm just making all this up although i don't think you think that either but i want to show you what happened here at this quick trip and i just want to thank the manager here i think his name was jameson or something it was something like james but different Jamie, Jameson, Jamboree, I don't remember, but he's awesome, and he's a, he's a fellow rider, he had an R1 until recently, and not the kind, you know, like the kind of guys that say that, and then they're like, they're just trying to be cool, so they're dropping the name of a random sport bike that they, they, they know, he's not, and I remember seeing him out riding, so he's a, he's one of us, and stands up for fellow riders, so. All of that to say, I get to go home now and spend my evening cleaning gas out of my gear, which is going to be really not how I wanted to spend my evening, but at least I get to have a beer over it. So, that's my evening. It's this quick trip here. And that's, yeah, he just, customer service, he's like, he wasn't, he didn't get upset back when I got upset. He understood I, I wasn't mad at him. And I know that because I work customer service and it's like, it's not his fault. It's not like he went out there and was like, hee 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 and like rigged the, you know, rigged this. I know what I'm going to do. It looks like they already did clean it up. They put the bags over it. But yeah, there was just, that was a big hot mess. But yeah, he, yeah, I mean, there's no sense getting, I wasn't mad at him. I was mad at the situation. And I, I did make that clear. And I was like, I'm sorry for puking on you about this. I was just livid. <laughs> and he's like, no, I get it. I'm really, really sorry. Anything else I can do, let me know. So, I'm not going to make them pay for the gear or anything. That's not... That would be obscene. That would be hundreds of dollars <laughs> for a silly mistake. So, that's not anything in their control. So... I will show you now. Out of the way. Make sure. That yeah, was this pump here. Just, uh, in fact, you can see the hose is still not there. The hose is still gone. And, uh, see, the hose broke off right here. See? That's the hose. It broke off, and then here's the, they just set it in here for now, but. It actually busted and see it's all kind of dark stained right here just sprayed all over me it was awesome so yeah that's that's what happened this 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 handle this whole handle piece like you would use that just came off in my hand actually it came off still in the bike and the, the hose part busted loose and just shh, gas and I just got soaked and all over my baby. So, Jameson's already gone for the day. The manager, he's not in there. I can see through the window. So, just wanted to 
give a big shout out to them though. Because I went from being like, wow, I'm never shopping here again. They got gas over my bike to, okay, they're going to make it right. And he's like, if you need, you know, you, if we do need to cover your gear or whatever, we'll do that. And I'm like, that's going too far. Hundreds of dollars to cost the company for something they didn't even, you know. You bought me a pack of beer. You commiserated with me. You let me vent about it. You comped me the gas. You know, you... They offered to pay for a car. I'm like, no, yeah, you did enough. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, what's a new pair of overpants going to cost me? 140 bucks? So, that's, uh, that's my story. I could probably stop this now, this video. But yeah, quick trip at the corner of Blue Ridge and Holmes, Kansas City. Thank you, quick trip. Although you did just soak all of the expensive gear. I'm probably wearing, I don't know, motorcycle gear is expensive. It's probably, I don't know, 700 bucks worth of stuff. <laughs> Not including the helmet. You know, jacket, boots, gloves. Uh, pants. No, it's more than that, because let's see, the overpant the overpants are about 140. Kevlar jeans are about 150. Boots are about a hundred. The leather jackets like three or four hundred. That's that's a lot of money to have gas spray all over you because the hose just went all crazy like that but I just do not feel right asking for them to cover that because I, I have other jackets, I have other gear, I'm not I'm not too SOL on that and I may be salvageable by washing it, I'd rather try washing it first and go home and have, a, have myself a Newcastle and call it a good night so Thank you guys for listening to my crazy story that just happened, and you didn't get to see it live, which makes it boring, I know, but... And I just ranted about... Rambled... Ramble ranted... Rambleted... Rantled... Rambleted... Trying to combine those words and it's not working. The moon is really pretty. Yep, I guess, uh, guess I can turn this off now and continue my commute home. I pulled over and was like, wait, I gotta tell him this story. This is too good to be true. Yeah. So, that is all. Cheerio and whatnot. See if I can do this without 